Dear Rwandans and friends of Rwanda, we've had enough with the RPF crimes. The situation is very critical now. We can no longer remain indifferent. We the citizens of Rwanda are calling for help. Please do not turn a deaf ear. It's only our mobilization that will enable us to change the course of history in Rwanda. <laughs> <laughs> Mrs. Yvonne Damange has been in prison since February 15th only for denouncing serious violations of the most basic human rights. She has shown us unparalleled courage and determination. In short, she really called for a citizens' revolutionary movement. It is now up to us to come together, to sustain this flame of hope so that it doesn't run out. <laughs> And they will condi. I need to get it. And they were a catenu cacam fatamaguru. A cat in the cacacubi. Fast with the suffering of Rwandan sadness and anger, all of this is no longer enough. We must act fast. This September 25th, you and I, our neighbors, and our children, our friends, let's all mobilize from 3 p.m. Kigali, Brussels, and Paris time. Let's manifest our revolt and cry out our indignation. <laughs> <laughs> There will be a protest that will take place in several countries and major cities. So it will be in the, all four corners of the globe. It will be online and in the streets. We are fed up with the RPF dictatorship. We need a referendum to disqualify this RPF government. We are not only advocating for Rusesa Bagina, Idama Anje, Karasira, and many other similar cases. We are also advocating for the disappeared like Bahati, Namuhanga, Rutembesa, Haririmana, Tkwajirimana, and so many others. We will be announcing the launch of the fund for the Rwandan Defenders of Persons' Rights so that we can be able to support all those heroes inside the country. Let's all come together in big number to denounce RPF on September 25th. Thank you. <laughs>